go. We are out here at Roy S. Anderson Gymnasium getting set for the 2012 Lincoln Summer Shootout. The teams are filing in. First games are starting at 10 o'clock today. The Railers are going to be playing the Cyclones from Sacred Heart Griffin at 11.40. So uh, get your breakfast and uh, get on out here. There's uh, several, several good teams. You've got Washington, uh, Hananega, Rockton Hananega, uh, Morton, Pekin, uh, of course, Lincoln, uh, a lot of good teams out here and a lot of good basketball going on all day. Sure. And the, you can just see we're out here in the uh, lobby here at Roy S. Anderson. You see uh, kids walking in, and they just look like basketball players. Getting ready. They, 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 just, they just look like it's it. Time so. to lace them up. Yep, Normal West, ready to go. Uh, Lincoln lost yesterday, won three and lost one. Their only loss was to Normal West by two points, 32-30. Mm -hmm. to 30. Good to see. Yeah, so we're right in there, and uh, we're winning, winning the ones we're supposed to be winning. Um, even then, I didn't know about Edward getting hurt, so I didn't even know we didn't have him. So uh, sure. sounds like some of the other railers are stepping up. But uh, you want your basketball fix? Get out here. Uh, it's going on the last game, which I hope the railers are in it, is the championship at 4:15. So um, get out here and uh, and support uh, not only the railers, but that helps their railer basketball program. It's a big fundraiser for them. Uh, I think they've got sandwiches, pork chops, uh, brats, barbecue, hot dogs, of course the drinks and the candy and all that kind of stuff going on too. So sure. get on out here. You got your basketball fix uh, coming up at NBA. Sure. The playoffs. It's going on right the now. finals are going on right now. Yeah. Um, looks like it's, it's tied. Yep. Headed back to Miami as I didn't think Miami had enough to beat the Thunder at the Thunder, but they did that on Thursday night. Uh, they, I think the Thunder got down about 18 to two, and uh, you just don't think about that. And the Thunder of only scoring two points in what 10 minutes. I mean, it just had a awful, awful couple minutes. And I don't really think they could ever rebound from it. Yeah, I I watched. I didn't watch any game too. I was at the uh, Luke Bryan concert at nice. the Sangamon County Fair. Luke Bryan, you can hear right here on WLCN, sure, uh, in your country station. So, um, but game one I watched from start to finish, and what I just think it's going to be a good. It's a good series. What, how entertaining is it to watch? Uh, Kevin Durant, who's a very easy guy to root for, right. um, very humble, very, very skilled basketball player. Um, you know, he's easy to root for. And then you got LeBron James, who's really easy to root against. So, well, And I, and I, I want to <laughs> ask you that. Why? Why do you think he's – because he's so good? I mean, he doesn't – you know, I, I, I still the, the older I get, that the older I get, I look for uh, several things in a basketball player. Uh -huh. One, you don't complain to the refs sure. because everybody in the NBA, whether the whistle's blowing on them, they complain. And he doesn't get in trouble. And I – uh, for I guess maybe I'm getting older and oh, I am, but uh, oh, to not worry about so much of the skill as much as does a guy get in trouble or does a guy Character. show up uh, the referee all the time. I mean, I understand you you mm -hmm. don't think you got to talk to him, but most of the players in the NBA do it every single call, and I get tired of watching that. So. Why is it so easy to root against LeBron? I, c well, I kind of like him, really. Well, I think uh, it boils down to uh, two things for me. Um, number one is that uh, I still think the decision and the thing that he, uh, when the way he left Cleveland was think probably still weighing on people's mind. one of the most tasteless <laughs> things I've ever seen in sports. Right. Um, and I, you know, I, that, and along with that. The way that he went to Miami in pursuit of a championship, I just, as a competitive person, you know, um, I, I just don't, I just don't buy it. As far as oh, I'm just going to build this dream team and, you know, go to the same place, and I, I just don't think that's how you should do it, you know. And but it the, might work. It, it might work. And the third thing, it kind of goes along with that, is just he's always been so hyped. I used to really, really admire him, but then the more that he is hyped up and made into be a um, you know a, the best basketball player one of the best of all time I, I think you got to win a title and sure. you know I think uh, I think he gets a little too much attention sometimes I I, I think Kevin Durant is um, you know if I was going to start a team Kevin Durant would be right there 1A 1B with LeBron so sure. um, but it, it's, it's fun to watch uh, those two go at it um, LeBron the basketball player is just if you take everything else out of it just a basketball purist um, from that standpoint, I mean, there, he's he's unbelievable. I mean, right. he is just a Mack truck yeah. when he gets going. You can't really he's an unstoppable force when he yeah. he's got a head of steam. And it seems like that's what the uh, Heat figured out on Thursday night was that we need to go to the basket and sure. start uh, getting easy baskets because 
Uh, Wade didn't show up on Tuesday night, uh, and then he he did a little bit on Thursday, but it was mainly LeBron. Uh, there's a lot of the basket. there's just a lot of fun players to watch. I like to watching Dwayne Wade. I like watching Russell Westbrook. I love the Thunder. Yeah, and uh, James Harden is fun. Even some of the role players like Serge Ibaka mm -hmm. and uh, Derek Fisher. Um, it's a good series. I'm not a huge NBA guy, Me but either. I think this is a, a, a fun series. And um, you know, I'll be. I think Game Three is tomorrow night, and I'm going to try to. Uh, check that out. Sure. I will. Yeah, and uh, speaking of uh, basketball, uh, we want to give uh, congratulations to Christian Van Hook, who is uh, headed to Blackhawk College East in Galva, Illinois. Mm -hmm. uh, Van Hook led the rail splitters 11.9 points and almost five rebounds per game. The six foot four forward uh, is headed for academics and athletics, also signed a basketball scholarship to Blackhawk East, who, coincidence, Kind of B.J. McCollum, the yep. old coach of Lincoln College, is yep. at Blackhawk now. Yep. So, so. Uh, he got some, not only did he see Christian, from what I understand, he talked to some people around here, of course, yep. Coach Whiteman. Uh, coach Alexander, who yeah. yep, has a relationship. So, um, you know, congratulations to uh, Christian. Yep. He's going to be heading. We're rooting for them both, him and B.J. It's going to be, yeah. you can root for both of those you know, guys in the same place. Whenever you can... Uh, Further your athletic along with your academic, uh, it's kind of nice. You know, a guy gets to uh, do what he's worked his butt off for. And, sure. and, uh, and Christian's got so much potential. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's almost, to me, it's almost surprising that, um, you know, a, a bigger school didn't come calling for him, and now he'll have that opportunity at a junior college to sure, play two um, years and prove himself yeah. in two years. And um, Coach McComb, as you and I both know from Lincoln College, has proven that he can get players moved on and right. um, get them to a, a, a higher level. And, um, you know, hey, you're going to get a college degree in the process if you if you do the right thing. So good for Christian, and um, you know we'll be rooting for him. Sure. Maybe except for when he plays Lincoln yeah, College. Yeah. If I'm employed at Lincoln College, you know, if Black Hockey plays Lincoln College, I can't really. Well, and they root they did Lincoln play College. here last year. Yeah, I think, uh, so. they, I think they, they at did. a tournament or something. So um, you know, we got a chance maybe to uh, to see Christian uh, Christian play basketball again here. Uh, just not wearing a Railroad uniform. So sure. congratulations to Christian. Hey, we got to take another quick commercial break. Uh, the teams are starting to warm up. Get 18 minutes and 32 seconds and counting before Springfield and Jacksonville take court. I don't know who some of the other games. Uh, Quincy and Mount Zion are playing. Alton and Rochester and Moline and Canton are the 10 o'clock start. we got four courts going on, so a lot of basketball. Uh, come on out here, Roy S. Anderson Gymnasium, WLCN 96.3 FM and WLCNonline.com. 2012 Lincoln shootout is almost underway on the Saturday session. The championship day. Let's. We've got uh, game started right now at 10 o'clock. That's Springfield and Jacksonville, Quincy and Mount Zion, Alton and Rochester, Moline and Canton are getting ready to uh, to tip here. About 18, no, 13:25 before they uh, they tip there, and then the Railers at 11:40 against the Cyclones from Sacred Heart Griffin. Uh, the Railers went three and one yesterday. Losing only to uh, Normal West by two points. So uh, get out here and, uh, and support not only the Railers, but the basketball program. All proceeds help the uh, to make the Railers look nice. Yep, you know, sure. They're, uh, they're one of the better, well, well-dressed. Not, and, not uh, one of the better. I think the best. I apparel. don't think I've ever seen us in pregame warm-ups and thought, wow, that other team has better uniforms Well, I, I mean, you so. don't get the, uh, the kind of the jumbotron type thing with the advertising sure, yep. of the starting lineups. You don't get that for nothing. I mean, they... Coach Alexander, the staff, uh, the kids work he hard finds to raise usually money. Usually, something new every year. One, one or two things every year. That's a new thing. Right. Um, you know, they get uh, new shoes, or I knew, I, one year he got new ball racks. Last year they got new spotlights. Um, so, um, you know, we like that. I can keep that tradition going here at Lincoln High School, and sure. um, you know, always have the Railers got the best of the best. Looks like five dollar admission. So get out here, eleven forty. The Railers are who are they taking on? You see? Um, you know, oh, Sacred Heart. Sacred Heart Griffin. Ooh. So, 1140. A, I mean, that's uh, a sleeper team for next year. They they are, a, they were, I think, they were both 500 last year. They lost some year. guys from Angleton. And I think Angleton's coming back. Really? I Is thought he just was, a junior? I thought he was only a junior. But he might I, be. I think they were pretty young last year, if I recall. Um, and they'll be good. Yeah. They'll be tough. Well, you had to bring it up during the break, too. You, you asked me for some reason what I thought about the Cubs, which... <laughs> Uh, I'm just it's you know, not a lot. But I, I I watching a lot of the Cubs minor league stuff, and I, I'm liking some of the things I'm reading about the minor leaguers. That can't say much for the major league roster. In fact, I wonder if you put an all-star team of the Cubs minor leaguers 
He would have and, beat the regular guys. And if they could beat, I, I honestly feel that way. National League, Washington is ahead, 38 and 34. Good. Cincinnati's ahead of the Central, 36 and 27. And the Dodgers are 40 and 24. They are ahead in the West. Friday's results, the Cubs were a winner, three to nothing, three to nothing over Boston. So. Theo Epstein went back to Boston and uh, no, but Boston's at Wrigley. Oh, is that Wrigley? Yeah, it's at nice. Wrigley. So nice. Boston came. That's to how see much I watch the Cubs. <laughs> tells you. Uh, sounds like Dempster threw a good game yesterday. He did three hit shutout. Uh, Kansas City three, St. Louis two, Chicago White Sox at the Dodgers. That was uh, late. Didn't get that score. Colorado twelve, Detroit four in ten innings. The Yankees seven, Washington two, Cleveland two, Pittsburgh nothing, Toronto three, Philadelphia zero. The Reds were a winner over the Mets. 7-3, to three. and Atlanta over Baltimore, 4-2. to two. The Rangers were a winner over Houston, 6-2. to two. Milwaukee, 5. Minnesota, 3. Arizona and the Angels uh, were, uh, yeah, were, were too late. College World Series is going on. Of course, uh, that started yesterday. A lot of baseball. Uh, you said you're not. A, you don't. Doesn't catch your interest. No, College World the, Series. the College World Series. Just I. I. I don't. Don't know. Don't know much about it. Don't follow it too much. Yeah, it's a little harder to follow. It's not quite as publicized as like football mm -hmm. or, or basketball. But uh, it's. Now, you play at that level, that college level. What is it like in a in a college regional atmosphere and things like that? Uh, it's it's pretty neat. We actually, when I was at Coastal Carolina, we were the three seed at the Georgia Tech regional. And Georgia Tech had just put in a new eleven or twelve million dollar stadium. Wow. Uh, we had Georgia Tech was the number one. Georgia was the number two. We were the three, and Louisville was the four. We got to play. Well, we had to play uh, Georgia Tech first game, which they beat us. Mm -hmm. We came back to beat Louisville. There was about five or 6,000 people there. Uh, but the big crowd was when Georgia played Georgia Tech, of oh, course, wow. in-state. Uh, you're looking at, uh, you know, six, 7,000 people. And it's pretty neat. You know, I, I have never been to a super regional, but um, the regional was was, uh, was really neat. Cool. And, you, you know, you see a lot of guys that are still playing that you got to play against. So, so who are uh, some of those guys for you? Uh, I mean, there's um, – well, he doesn't play anymore, but um, the shortstop for the Padres was Khalil uh, for the Khalil Green. Yeah. Khalil Green played for Clemson. Uh, his buddy that played third on the same team was uh, the guy that plays used to play second and third for the Cubs. Um, I can't think of his name now. He was a Golden Spikes. No, no, he was a Golden Spikes. He's a bigger guy. Golden Spikes award winner uh, a couple of years ago for college baseball. So, you know, you, there's guys all the time you you played against or. Um, Cool. You know, Jason Worth, of course, but uh, yep. he was a, a high school guy. So, yeah, it's a, it, I enjoy it. I'd like to go out there. they got a new stadium in Omaha. Mm -hmm. um, it's downtown. I got a picture of it, saw a picture of it last night. It's a beautiful, beautiful place. So uh, if you've never done it, it's something to go to, the College World Series. I was able to go when I was younger. We played on a traveling team that actually had a tournament in Omaha while, wow. the, while the World Series was going on. So you went, played your games, and then you went to the World Series and watched uh, – so, it, but it's you know, if a bucket list type of guy, it's one of the things that's pretty cool. You know, it, it's uh, it's a, it's a lot like a national championship atmosphere. There's a lot, a lot of people there. So. Cool. No, the the uh, other big sport uh, event right now is the U.S. Open. Looks yeah. like Tiger's making a run. Um, yeah. And then I saw yesterday um, some of the news reports throughout the day were that a 17-year-old kid had a lead in the U.S. Open for a while. I can't I even saw, imagine. Yeah. Um, I saw a little bit of a little bit of that, and uh, pretty neat. Yeah, I, you know, well, one of the things they were saying was that uh, if this 17-year-old kid does do really well, um, he's going to have an interesting choice because if you're an amateur, to keep your amateur paid. side, of, he, he can't accept his money. So, I mean, let's say he gets second or third in the payouts, you know, seven hundred thousand dollars or eight hundred thousand yeah. dollars, he might have to either take that money and, uh, you know. Not be a college and not player be, anymore. forego his college eligibility. Uh, you know that's a tough, tough decision. So. Well, I wondered that too. Um, Catherine Hepler is playing in the. Uh, it's an LPGA event. An yeah, LPGA it's a uh, Tate and the Tours Tate and Lyle Players Championship at Hickory Point Golf Club. Sure. Indicator, and it's a payout uh, for first is 100 grand. Oh my goodness. So I was wondering, what if she wins? She's not going to be able to. She can't. Can't collect compete? money. Nope, can't collect the money. So or she's not going to go to college, I guess. Yeah, I mean, but well, you can go. You just, yeah, you just can't play. You just right. can't play for Mizzou right. or right. Um, wherever you're going to go to college. Sure. In so case, Mizzou. It, it sounds like she struggled a little bit yesterday. Um, she is 
tied for 108th, so unless she makes a heck of a comeback, we're not going to have to worry about the money. Uh, I wouldn't put anything past her. She's, no, she's, she's been there before. She, yeah, she, she, she could throw up a, a, you know, a 68 or a 66 with anybody. So. Right. Not like you. No, no, I can throw about a 266, <laughs> something like that. Lincoln College, your uh, employer, signed a couple guys, uh, sure. a couple good ones. Yeah, uh, The absolutely. other day, the basketball program. Talk a little bit about uh, about those guys. Very exciting uh, for the college. Uh, we signed uh, Aaron Simpson and uh, Marjan Bryant. Uh, Marjan averaged about 11 points a game last year. Talking to the coaches is highly, highly athletic. He's about a 6'2", 6'3", guard. Um, you know, maybe can work on some of his skills a little bit, but um, he's going to be a contributor. Um, but Aaron Simpson... Uh, is one of the most decorated uh, graduating seniors in the state. Good score to score, basketball. Scored over 2,000 points in his career. Not only that, um, but has led um, North Chicago to the state tournament two years in a row. And they were the runner-up this year, and I think they got third the year before that. Um, he's a guy who's third in the state in the Mr. Basketball voting. Um, he's first all-team Chicago Tribune, all Chicago Sun-Times, all Associated Press, yeah, all, I all say, the big ones. All the big ones. Um, and he's, he's, from what I understand, he's very exciting to watch. He's a six-foot guard who can, uh, you know, shake and bake a little bit, like a little Allen Iverson. 812 and, points as a senior. Yeah, That's a lot of points. 25.4 per game. Yep, high-scoring high guy, and uh, from what I understand, they're going to lean on him a little bit to be a leader and, um, you know, should be uh, bring some excitement over to the new gym at Jack Nutt Arena at yeah. the Lincoln Center. So, yeah, new coach uh, over at Lincoln College, and, uh, and we're going to try and get him on. Lincoln College also bringing in a local flavor. Uh, Jordan Gessner yeah, going to yeah. join the Lynx uh, next year, and um, you know, he. I think Jordan's a kid who can really thrive off of Aaron Simpson because if Aaron Simpson's as quick and um, is, has the ability to drive the basketball out of the hoop as everybody says he does, that's going to open up some shots for uh, Mr. Gessner. So yeah. Jordan and Aaron will be uh, good friends, I'm sure. Funny how we're talking basketball already just in the middle of summer, but we're out here at the 2012 Lincoln Shootout. They're going on all day until 4.15. The championship game starts at 4.15. The Railers are getting, uh, they'll be playing the Cyclones from Sacred Heart Griffin at 1140. We've got uh, some of the losers bracket kind of going, gonna, well, going to be starting here in about four minutes. We see uh, Springfield. IB IBCA Hall of Famer Greg Alexander yes. uh, out here um, pointing around some uh, Lincolnites, Andy Fitzpatrick and Blynn Bates. So going to help out. Uh, and, you know, sure. we want to thank a lot of the volunteers, too. It sure. takes a lot of volunteers yep. to uh, keep Parents. this thing going. There's cheerleading coach Lauren Shander walking in. Must be some cheerleading stuff going on today, too. As uh, I'm going to be running the scoreboard for a little while. So uh, sure. a lot of volunteers, a lot of things happen, you know, have to go on right to, uh, to run something like this. And even more when coach talks about moving this from 20 to 32 teams yeah. uh, next year, which will be uh, even more, but uh, more hard work. But more, uh, more uh, help for the basketball program out here at uh, Roy S. Anderson Gymnasium. I want to thank some of our sponsors. Jake's Furnishings located at 1100 Woodlawn Road in Lincoln. Open seven days a week. Phone them at 735-1212 or go online to jakesfurnishings.com. Jim Grimaldi, criminal defense attorney, Logan County's only law firm dedicated exclusively to the practice of criminal law. Phone them at 217 Six five one eight zero eight nine. The Christian Village, the area's leader for senior living and health care services. Phone 732-2189 for a tour. Goodwill of Lincoln. Find everything for everyone at the good at the Lincoln Goodwill store next to Kroger. Open seven days a week. Phone them at 732-6700. Eaton Corporation, America's choice for top quality high performance electrical equipment for over 53 years. Edward Jones, financial advisor Bob Neal, 735-2585, or stop by the office located at 218 South Kickapoo in downtown Lincoln. Uh, we also want to thank St. Clair's Manor. Their team's dedication is what makes them special. Phone 735-1507. Lincoln College, my employer, since 1865. Phone 1-800-569-0556 to schedule your personal tour and meeting with a professional admissions counselor. Most likely that will be me if you're from Logan County, so come see me at Lincoln College. Cross out that professional. Then. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know about that. Maybe it's not me. Uh, Fricky Calvert Schrader Funeral Homes in Lincoln and Mount Pulaski providing professional care and compassion since 1890. Century Dental Center, experience the convenience of one visit dentistry at Century Dental Center. With two locations, visit Chatham or downtown Lincoln. 
Community Action Partnership of Central Illinois. Phone 217-732-2159 for information on all of the services they have to offer. Um, and I know Community Action Partnership um, does some things that are heat related. So um, if you're struggling out there in the heat today, call Community Action and they've got some services they can Already offer. Already struggling. So, um, and again, we WLCN wants to thank uh, or congratulate Josh Kownick and uh, Vanessa Worth Kownick on their happy sixth anniversary yes, tomorrow. Josh, what's years. the big plans for the anniversary? Well, I don't know yet. Uh, <laughs> that's, that's tomorrow. Yeah. I, have it, I have about 24 hours, that, well, less than 24 hours to think about that. No, we're going to go out to eat, uh, kind of just us two. It's kind of, you know, when we you see have kids, it's not uh, not easy to get away. We see sometimes. the uh, little comics running around. Yeah, oh, yeah, they're so. excited. They're ready for Railers. They were doing starting lineups last night, Gavin Block. Uh, they still think they're going to be a little disappointed because their favorite player, Christian Van Hook, is not going to be on the team this year. <laughs> so it's going to be a, a rough couple days in the comic household if Christian's not out there today. So, uh, But, we're yeah, I'm going to check out some games with them. And, uh, Justin, want to thank you for uh, coming on again. No problem. Uh, filling in for the furniture guy, as always. And, uh Again, we're out here at the 2012 Lincoln Shootout. Lincoln is playing at 11.40 today, so get out here, get some lunch. They've got uh, pork chops, broth, barbecue, hot dogs, of course, the candy, the chips, the water, the Gatorade, all that kind of stuff you'll need to uh, keep hydrated. So uh, get out, support the Railers, and uh, we'll, be, uh, we'll be out here watching a few games. Sure. That's going to do it from Roya Sanderson Gymnasium. I want to thank everybody for listening. We'll talk to you next week.